guys welcome back to my channel today I'm gonna to be doing this makeup look and if you if any of you guys follow me on Instagram you would have seen that it was my engagement party with my fiance on Saturday and I had so many people commenting on my makeup look at the party online in private messenger and what a great way to start off my first of many makeup looks and wedding type videos I wanted to recreate this look that I did for my engagement party it is a makeup look that I use really so very often and if you had have seen my best of beauty video of what my favorite palettes were you would have seen that I mentioned my Jaclyn Hill palette from Morphe now this makeup look is created from that palette so I really feel like it just goes to show how often I do use it so this look that I did was kind of a first time I have created this look in different variations but with this particular style this was the first time that I did it and I was so happy with the way that it had come out I felt like it was really such a great you know transitional makeup look that looked really good in the afternoon that transitioned into nighttime and I added a wing into it without creating too much of a nightclub sort of look I really wanted it to be a rose gold really feminine really pretty but still a heavier kind of daytime to nighttime eye and I feel like I executed it with this palette the shimmer shades honestly it was the first time I've used in the palette I'm not really a shimmer person but then again I'm not really a pink person and I feel like this year I have started to evolve my style whether it be colors fashion and different makeup looks so this is a really great one to show i feel like you can do this makeup look for any type of event but this was what i used for my engagement so if you want to learn how i created this really pretty rose gold shimmery eye please just keep on watching so taking my fluffy brush i'm going to take this orangey sort of shade and buff this into the crease just to warm the eye up slightly I really didn't want to do too much color regarding this crease area because we are going to build it up it is more just so that it creates a less harsh line when I'm blending other colors in together so I'm just going to buff those into both eyes there as you can see and just slightly bringing it in through the lower part then with this orangey type shade again I'm taking more of a denser fluffy brush and I'm going to start to build the color up into the crease doing the same thing pretty much as what I did with the first shade. I felt like with this color I didn't want to create too much of a harsh line starting off with it so I thought building it up would be the better way to go I really like these types of shades for green eyes I feel like it just really complements them so taking the first color again and blending those two together also then going in with the chocolate color down there I'm going to be taking more of a flat brush and as you can sort of see you can tell that I'm kind of lightly patting that color there I this is such an easy makeup look by the way like I feel like it's just so simple and so easy to do and it looks so put together I just like to kind of roughly do those first two colors and blend them in to one another and then just keep going back and forth doing that padding motion in that corner of my eye in that area there it just helps build the color up because it is quite a dark shade so I'm gonna go in lightly on either side just ever so gently patting those two colors in and then I'm gonna drag it down and bring it along my lash line because I've decided I'm not gonna really do too much of a wing I really wanted to sort of smoke that lash line out and sort of just smoke it out and blend it in with the two so you can sort of see that I'm just kind of deepening that lash line area up there that's really just going to help blend it in with your liquid liner then I'm going to go back in and do the same on the other side as you just saw also I grabbed my fluffy brush that is great to use the first color just to blend all three tones together Then taking the rose gold shade, I'm going to take my flat brush. I sprayed 
it really, really, really lightly with my MAC Fix Plus and I'm just going to do that crease area. So I'm just going to just keep patting it on until I'm pretty much happy with the color that it that it's turned out to. I think I actually mixed the two shimmer shades next to one another. I just really, really lightly went over the lighter color just to sort of brighten it. Then taking the second color that I used just to buff in that crease area so that there is no harsh lines with the shimmer. I really like the shimmer that has been created with this look because I just feel like I'm so not a shimmery type of person, but it just really gives it that real rose gold, girly, flirty, smoky eye type of look. I don't know. I just, I honestly am so, so, so loving this look. I'm taking my NYX That's the Paint Black Wick Liquid Liner. You can see that this pen is a really, really, really fine tip. I love this sort of liquid liner for just a really really understated liquid liner it's not something that I would probably use for a strong wing but this is just perfect for this type of look it's so easy to get in quite tightly and make a really sharp wing as well I just find it's got a really nice tip on the end of it it just helps I don't know, keep it to that lash line. I really like this one. So if you are looking for a finer tipped liquid liner, I would highly recommend it because it's really black. It stays on and it's super easy to use. Sorry, I didn't realize that I wasn't in frame. I was just so excited. So they are taking my Revlon mascara. I'm just going to coat those lashes. I really like this mascara because it just makes it look really black and really full. So just coating those two before putting my eyelashes on and the eyelashes that I'm going to be using for this makeup look are my absolute new favorites. They're the Mink Collection from Huda Beauty and it is the Marilyn ones. They're quite expensive so they're about $65 but they're amazing. So taking the Becca Backlight Primer, I'm going to prime all over the rest of my face just to give it that real shimmery type of look. Then taking my Huda Beauty Foundation, I love this one. This is in the shade Tres Leish. I think that's how, that's how you say it. I'm just going to apply that with my finger and then I'm going to take my F80 Sigma brush with MAC Fix Plus on it and buff that all the way through. I find with this foundation, if I'm wanting a full out makeup look, I will go in with my Sigma Kabuki brush. I just find it gives a lot bigger and better coverage. Not that a beauty blender doesn't work. I just find that a lot of it gets lost in the sponge and it just becomes a bit of a waste and it it, with the brush it just keeps it so much nicer and natural on the skin and a lot nicer in photos also then for concealer I'm taking my Tarte Shape Tape this is in the shade Fair Neutral and I'm just going to dot like four dots underneath my eyes and a little bit down my nose a little bit goes a long way with this so I'm just going to take my damp beauty blender and just start to buff that or press that into my under eyes. I feel like this doesn't give me any flashback. It's a trusty concealer of mine that I use especially for a more full coverage makeup look. I really like to sort of I don't know buff that in quite densely if I find I need to go over a little bit more if it's not covering as much as I'd like I just add a little bit more as you would. Then to set all of that, I'm going to take my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder and my Kat Von D Shade and Light Brush. I love that for my under eyes. I'm just going to pat that in nice, nicely. It doesn't give me any flashbacks either, which is great when you're doing a lot of photos. Then to press in the rest of my face and set, I'm going to take the Kat Von D in Medium Neutral. And to carve out my cheekbones without making it too matte and flat, I'm going to take my MAC uh, Global Glow I believe this one is yeah go Global Go in the mineral skin finish I love it because it has that bit of shimmer in it so it just kind of gives you that little bit more dimension rather than having you know like proper contour like I really wanted this look to be really glowy and really summery and fresh I don't know I love that and then I'm going to blush my cheeks and just really brighten that up using the MAC Melba and also highlighting my cheekbones, I'm going to be taking the Nicole Guerrero Anastasia Beverly Hills and highlight all over my face. I'm obsessed with this palette. I love it. It's just honestly my favorite out of everything and I always just go for that. 
Now taking my flat brush, I'm going to be taking that chocolate shade that I used in my corner of my eye and just deepening up my under eye area. I really like to do this for this sort of look. It just takes it to that little bit more dramatic. Um, I'm just going to just lightly run that along my lash line and then to buff it out, I'm going to take that second shade that we used in the crease after the first shade and just buff out so that there's no harsh lines. Now next to that rose gold color, I'm going to just highlight my inner corner and highlighter. I'm going to be a new favorite lip trio. The lip liner that I'm using is from Maybelline and it is the Color Sensual Lip Shaping Liner in the color Nude Whisper 105. I love it. Then to put over the top of that, I'm using my Kat Von D Liquid Lipstick in the shade Ludwig. And then I am just going to let that dry before I put something else over the top. So while I do that, I am just going to be setting my face with the Urban Decay Fix Plus just to sort of give that extra glow also. And my Pierce de Resistance, the MAC Matte Frosting Lip Color, just to lighten up that shade. Okay guys, and that comes to the end of this video. I'm so excited that this was the first of many videos that I'm gonna be creating for my wedding. I had such a sense of satisfaction while I was recreating this makeup look for the video. I just had such a great time at my party. I was so happy with the way that my hair and my makeup turned out as I did them both myself. My outfit just went with them perfectly and this look was a really great and this look was a really great way for me to be able to trial and error different sorts of looks so I can use on my wedding day. As I said, it was a very exciting and motivating type of video because getting married is so exciting, so nerve-wracking and so stressful. So this is one of the fun parts of wedding planning. So please, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to see more of these style looks you know not everybody's going to want to wear a pink shimmery smoky eye please let me know down below what it is that you would like to see but until next time i look forward to seeing you guys all in my next video see you bye